Hey, welcome to the second form of Bing Chen, Chang Q. In this form, you're going to learn about some more hand attacks, some kicks, waist movements, and a lot of really cool stuff. So, Chang Q means seeking the bridge, or seeking the gap, or bridging the hands. So, we're going to talk about how to use those tactics in fighting. So, let's get started. We're going to start with our Wu Qi position again, just like Si Lim Tao in the first form. We're going to drop, put our hands next to our chest, flush against the front of our chest, pull back our elbows down and back. Drop our knees slightly and feet together. Now we're going to open our toes 45 degrees out while pivoting on the heels. Now we're going to pivot on the balls of our foot and then uh, swing our heels out about 30 degrees. Now we're going to do a double cross block. Double cross block should be in this position. There should be about a fist or a fist and a half space between the elbow and your body. Now, rotate the left hand into the back of your right hand into a back fist, rolling back fist. So once again, you're here, down, double gang sao. We're gonna roll the left hand behind the right in the rolling back fist. Then we're going to pull it back to our chest. From here, we're going to do our Yati Chongkun again. So bring it to the center of the chest, knuckle facing your target. Punch it out, vertical fist, open up Tang Sao, Hun Sao, and bring it back. Right hand, fist to the center of the chest, and your sternum. Your sternum is where the lower ribs meet in the middle. Punch it out, vertical. Vertical fist, Tan Sao, Yun Sao, and bring it back. Now we're going to open up our hands and do a double Tan Sao. So I'm sliding it like a Tan Sao, but we're using the bottom part, the edge of our forearms, and our hands to press down. From here, we're going to take our, we're going to pivot to our left. So we're going to pivot to our left. What you want to do is have your feet point 45 degrees that way. Your body will be facing 90 degrees this way and most of your weight will be on your back leg. About 60-40. 60% on the back leg, 40% on the front leg. So once again we're here and then let's not do the heart, let's not do the hands, let's just do the feet. So we're here and we're going to pivot this way. So you see, my right foot doesn't move, ideally. Okay, now they're both 45 degrees this way. And my body is 90 degrees this way. Okay, so ideally, only your left foot needs to move. And now my body is this way, now my feet are pointing this way. You want to do three pivots. So one pivot to the left, one to the right, and now your weight is shifted to the back leg, Again, so your left leg is now your back leg. Now you have 60% 40% from the front. Now do another shift. 60% 40% on the front. Right, so the first part goes like this. You're in this position. We're just doing the stance right now. You're gonna pivot to the left. Pivot to the right, I'm facing directly right. Pivot to the left, I'm facing directly left. Now we add the hand movements. We have our double thumbs out. We're going to bring our left hand over our right. So we have a double line cell. Your arm should be about your sternum level and your shoulders should be nice and relaxed. So if we combine it, we're going to combine it by pivoting and also doing the arm movement. So we're here, double thumb cell. We're going to do this and at the same time pivot to the left. I'm facing directly to the left, 90 degrees and my feet are pointing 45 degrees this way. Now we're going to shift to this way. Once again, weight is on the back leg. Now the feet are point, pointing 45 degrees this way and I'm facing, facing directly to my right. And then pivot again. Pivot again. From here, we're going to do a double fox out. So we're going to fling it up, eye level. Your fingers should be about eye level and your arm should be nice and straight. Now we're going to sink the elbows 
and flip our hands upwards. So from here, sink your elbows and flip your hand upwards. Now you use your right hand like you're closing a book, closing your book, and slap it down to your fore, into your forearm here. Close the book, do the same thing, close this book while turning the other hand, slap it to your right forearm. Now close the book and slap it onto your left forearm. Now we're going to open up our palms, do a right palm, straight, the left palm comes back into this position, left palm, and then right palm. From here we're going to pivot to our right, so our feet are going to go like this. Now our right arm is going to do a backwards elbow, okay, so this way it will look like this. So this will be horizontal and you want to go back to here. Well, this one pulls and elbows backwards. So we ended up here. We're going to elbow back and open up like this. So it expands your chest, your chest will expand. This elbow will go horizontally, horizontally this way, and then this elbow will go backwards. From here, we're going to pivot to our right again. Right hand forms a bong cell. Now your center line is here, facing this way. Even though your body is facing 45 degrees this way, your center is now here. So we're going to do this, and then this will be a Wu Sao protecting hand right about your elbow, right next to your elbow, but also on the center line. So here's the center, here's the center, here's the center. Now we go back into the elbow position. Back into the long cell, blue cell. Elbow, long cell, blue cell. That's the third time and the fourth time. Now the fourth time, you want to place, place your wrist right over the other wrist. And then pull back with the other with your right arm to your chest and punch this out straight. So now I'm still in this position. My feet are still pointing 45 degrees, but now my body is facing directly this way, to the right. And I have a vertical punch to my right. From here, we can go back up to our middle stance. Our left hand does a fax up, up to the eye level. And then we're going to bring this elbow and forearm directly back into this position. So out. So we're here and bring it directly here. Almost like you're chopping it back down. But make sure you don't chop this way. Make sure you just bring it down to here. And your fingers are pointing this way and your hand in this position. Now place your right hand uh, over your left elbow. Do a scraping action with your right hand and a twisting and pulling action with your left hand. Combine that together and you get a tooth out. So scrape and pull at the same time while rotating both your right and your left wrist. So the fox out, I mean the uh, tooth out, will be a chop to the neck. We're going to open our palms, do a hinge cell, and pull it back. Don't worry, there's a lot of stuff, but we're going to do it again on the right side, so we show you, show you again. We do a double chum cell. Now we're going to put our right on top of our left. Last time it was left over right, this time it's going to be left, uh, right over left, and we're going to pivot to the right. Our feet will be 45 degrees this way, and our bodies will be 90 degrees this way. Pivot to the left, pivot to the right. Now, do a fox out, fling them out. I, I, uh, your finger should be eye level. Sink your elbows. Now do, close the book with your left hand on your right hand. Now, close it onto your left. And now close it to your right. 
Now do palm, chain palm, chain palm left, right, left. Now make an elbow and pivot to the left and elbow backwards. This one also elbows backward, expands your chest. We're going to pivot to our right. This becomes a bong sao and wu sao. So bong sao is like this, wu sao is like this. If you look from the top, here's the angles. This will be straight, it's 135 degrees, it's another 135 degrees, and your fingers are pointed that way, straight that way. The wu sao will be here, right next to your elbow, and right in your center line. So we're going to do our second one, so this elbow again, this is the fist, and then we're going to elbow that way, and we're going to elbow back that way at the same time. Go back to Bong Sao Wu Sao, elbow this way, that's the third time, Bong Sao Wu Sao, now fourth time. The fourth time we're going to place our wrist over the other wrist with a vertical punch. We do our vertical punch while pulling back with our other left hand. From here, center, center of stance, to a fox cell up to the eyes, do a chum cell. So it leads with the elbow straight down to here. Place your left hand on the crook of your elbow, scrape with your left, turn and twist and pull with your right, and chop to the neck with your left hand. Do a tang cell, hin cell, and cell crit. So that's the first section of Changdu.